Well, hello, my precious friends. We are on Monday's lesson today. Monday's lesson, teach us to number our days. I don't know about you. Do you have grandparents? I had a grandfather once. He's deceased now, but I remember my grandfather as he grew older, you know, his walk got a little slower. Uh, he, he, he sometimes was not able to do all the things he used to do. And as he aged, we loved him dearly, but there was a sense that grandpa was ebbing away, that his life was coming to an end. We ended up moving away from him. And I heard, when I heard that he had passed, my heart was pricked. My heart was touched because I loved my grandfather, my father's father and my mother's father. But my father's father was very close to us and loved him dearly. I want you to know that we're all heading down the road of life. And if time should last, we too have a date with destiny. We too have a date with the grave unless Jesus intercepts us and comes before we pass. If by reason, Psalm 90 says, perhaps by reason of strength, you know, we may go an extra 10 years beyond 70, perhaps 80 years if God should allow. But even then, our years pass away and our life, which flourishes in the morning, fades in the afternoon. Psalm 90 takes up this lament of the human existence, the human predicament, and declares in no uncertain terms, you ought to be wise given the fact that you, your body, is impacted by sin and that we cannot sustain ourselves, the wise thing to do would be to incline our hearts unto God. Wouldn't it be that? It goes on to say that, you know, our sins are ever before God. Even our secret sins are ever before. That's a frightening thought that God has seen everything. Everything is before him. My things, your things, all of our things are before him. And his anger, Psalm 90 says, is potent anger. In fact, no one on earth has really ever felt the full wrath of God that Revelation talks about in, in chapter 14, unmixed with mercy. None of us have really felt that kind of wrath. It is cushioned by the grace of God and by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ cushions his wrath. If God should pour that out on us, which we deserve, would we survive it? That's why the psalmist says, you know what? Lord, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom, that we may do what is right, that we might repent and accept his forgiveness and walk in newness of life. That's today's study. Psalm 90 is telling you now's the time, now's the time, now's the time to number your days.